Hello, hello. This video is for my friend and colleague Elita Andre. And this here is Kenny. And he wants to say hi to you. <laughs> He likes little girls. He is all excited to meet children and play with them. Play ball and fetch and frisbee and all that good stuff, you know. On the lawn, on a beautiful big lawn with lots of daisies. So, yes, <laughs> And Kenny, he is, he's the blue god, and he's the Buddha, and he is Lord Vishnu, and he is, he is very serious, he's looking at Paul, because Paul is making a bird feeder outside for all the different birds. So, and Kenny, he is living art. That's what he is. This is living art. This is art that is alive and that has been co created by many, many, many generations of humans who created many, many, many generations of Great Danes. And the outcome is a beautiful, beautiful living artwork like this one here. And he is looking to see what Paul is doing out there. What is he doing out there? That is weird using that drill screwdriver. Wow. Very interesting. <laughs> so, alrighty. So, I want to show you a little bit around. Hello, hello. And this is me, Nicola. And I'm an artist too, and I am your fan. And I want to show you a little bit just um, I'm gonna go. It's a little dark in <coughs> here. I'm gonna take you upstairs where the light is good, and I want to show you my artwork and share that with you. There is. I don't know if this is visible. The, here's my artwork in the staircase. What I do is I recycle boxes and I tape them all up with duct tape and I make beautiful colorful art out of recycled reused materials so that we don't have so much waste in the world so that we can reuse our packages they are made with acrylic on styrofoam and that is better for the environment because they, they're not made out of wood, they're not made out of logged trees. We want to, we want to keep our trees, we want to keep the forests. So now they're made out of styrofoam for insulating a house and so now it serves two purposes it insulates a little bit and it gives beautiful beautiful <coughs> paintings too and I'm so happy with this so happy about it so and here's my studio and here's another sculpture over the door. And here is a project. This is Project Locker. 
My project locker is not finished, as you can see. I'm still working on it. I'm just painting this entire locker because that locker is made out of plastic and does not look too good. And once it's finished painting, then it will look good because then you don't know even what it's made of. It looks like wood almost. So it looks much better than afterwards. And I'm planning on doing that with all kinds of things that right now are a little tacky and could be made <laughs> later on. <laughs> made into something that is more creative looking. And so this is another box here. A delivery box of a chair and I am painting Kenny on it. It's not finished that painting and I made a drawing of SM Cuenca and he is becoming Shujo and I am also putting this into onto a recycled shipment box. That theme as in Cuenca is becoming Shujo. It's not finished. I'm going to be working on this for a few months. I just started with this and I'm exploring the dimensions and the shapes right now and the cheeks and the lips and the transformation into the dolphin. I want to be making much more with this. I want to, if I had more money, I would make sculptures. I would have somebody transform the figure of S. N. Guenka slowly into the dolphin, morphing it. And that would be so beautiful. Yes, I'm upstairs. Making a video for the beautiful Elita Andre. And these are my mass productions here. I, I taped up many, many, many cookie, cookie jars. See the cookie jars? Shortbread cookies, almond. Mm. I stuffed it with some fabric <laughs> rest to make it a little heavier and a little compacter. Then I tape it with duct tape, see, all around. This needs a little bit more taping here. And when it's finished, when it's all nicely taped, then I have to do more taping on this one. This didn't work. But um, so when it's taped up and there uh, there's nothing sticking out anywhere, I have to do more taping over here. So once it's all smoothly taped over, then I paint it like this with acrylic. And this is all not finished. None of this is finished. So it's not finished. It's all in in the process right now. So. See? This one is called Der Gedichteschreiber. That means the poetry writer. And this is for my dad, for his birthday in November. And all of these cookie jars, when they're finished, that's another jar that I also taped. And when that is finished, I will send these all to my parents as a present. And this was the one package for the Kindle Paperwhite. <laughs> the eyes on the side. Yeah, that's how I'm doing my art. And I have made, made many, 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 many paintings in Germany and in LA and here at the North Coast. Many, many, I gave many, many, many away. And so only like very, very rich and very, very, very nice people bought like 
altogether maybe three or four of my paintings. So you see I'm not marketing myself <laughs> and I'm not living on it. I'm not making money with my artwork but I make it for myself and uh, you are making money with it and you are the continuation of Jackson Pollock and it is, uh, it is the crystal clear continuation it's just a logical evolution of Jackson Pollock that continues on in your life and people recognize that and they're mesmerized with that and it is much more it's it's much more it's people see energy in your artwork and they are absolutely amazed and mesmerized with it and they recognize you they recognize the energy even though they don't really they can't really put words into it they recognize it and that's why they are all so excited about your artwork and there's a lot of jealous people out there a lot of jealous people who are very angry but they're only angry because they are very jealous so don't pay any attention to those. Those those are always there, you know, they always there. They have not worked on themselves. They have not transcended their inner problems yet. And that brings me to the next subject. And the subject is empowerment. And I wanted to talk to you about this and I don't want to overwhelm you with all of this information you know just don't be overwhelmed by what I'm saying it is a little bit theoretical just go with the flow of the words and maybe later on when you're older maybe you can do something like this Maybe you can help people, and I know you want to help people, and I know you want to help all living beings. I can see this already, and when I see that, grandmother is very touched by that. Big old grandma is very touched by that. So touched that my tears are rolling out. And I'm very grateful to my blue God that he sent you to planet Earth, my sweetie, and to give humanity love. It's the people, it's the humans that are hurting the most. That's why they do so much harm because they're hurting on the inside. They need an angel to pour the pink acrylic love for them. The avalanche of love. Some people think I'm crazy, probably no. But I'm just going with the flow of my emotions. You know. Being an artist is being who you really are. People, they can't be an artist if they are not who they really are, if, if they conform to society. They're not a true artist. And I believe there's an artist in every single person. There are animals who are artistic too. Dolphins, for example, they make bubbles in the ocean. Kind of like soap bubbles, but they do that underwater. And 
then these bubbles they create rings and the dolphins they play with those art is play if people just understood what art is when I read the comments under your videos and other people's videos I always see this oh everybody could do this and then I ask people if everybody can do it, why don't you do it then? Do it, you know. I tell people to do it. Just do it. But they can't do it because they're afraid of judgment. So they have to, because of their, their fear of judgment, they have to judge others. They have to judge those who have taken that leap of freedom, you know. The leap of having a pot haircut. The leap of not having makeup on. The leap of being who you really are. Being totally free. And when I meet a fellow artist like you, the continuation of Jackson Pollock, I feel I'm not alone. I feel like there's somebody else. There is another kind and kindred soul out there who will see me as a friend who will recognize me for who I am you know just a living being who wants to connect just like every dolphin and every dog and every great Dane out there in the world and every elephant and every giraffe and rhinoceros yeah, even the, the reptiles like it, the dinosaurs, they did that too. They wanted to connect. Every living being just is curious and wants to connect and wants to play and that's metabolism. As Yonata Mises said, that is flow and that is art. Yeah. So it's an expression of whether somebody likes someone's art or not, whether that art speaks to a person or not, you know, art is art, art is always an expression, a full expression of oneself. When I was a little girl, I painted my pain that I was carrying inside of me because I had a lot of emotional pain, I was very hurt. And I painted that. It would not be something that someone else would buy and hang up on the wall. Okay, and um, there, there are artists out there, many artists out there, who I wouldn't want to hang their artwork on my walls. And but that's not because it's not art. It's it, whatever they do is art because when they are fully expressing it, like Jonathan Mises, expressing it fully, it is metabolism, it's flow, and that's art. You know? Somebody likes it, somebody doesn't. That doesn't matter. You know, What matters is that we like it, that the person who makes it likes it, and that we enjoy it when we hang it up that it speaks to us, that it's there, the eye of the blue god, putting his blue energy over us, protecting us. That's my art. My art is the, is the connection to my blue god. And for other people, it is something else. When I was a little girl, for me, it was expressing, just expressing the pain in order to let it out, let it flow out. Yeah. And that was important to me. And your art, there is no pain in your art. Your, your art is free from pain. Your art is free from suffering. Your art is... 100% expression also and it is the expression of pure joy and love and that is what the humans need they need that they need that joy and love flowing out to them 
all art is important for everybody to see and and to be inspired by but your your art is free flow jackson pollock he had pain in his lifetime and you have transcended that he has transcended that through his art by flowing it out and now you're a girl and you transcended this and everything turned from gray and black black struggles but expressed into gold and pink and blue and green and all the beautiful colors yellow and orange and turquoise and purple all these different shades and of beautiful iridescent happy colors and gold and silver and that's what that's just the pure expression of having come out the other end having completely gone through this expression and everybody who's hurting can do this everybody who's hurting you know and the more we humans the more we 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 the people who have understood this and are able to help others the more we can help others the more shamans are out there to help others the faster the ones who hurt can free themselves from the suffering yeah. and with that we can free all beings from suffering we can make all beings feel good again and no horse will have to suffer anymore when all humans are able to free themselves from their own suffering then they don't feel the need to make someone else miserable anymore then everybody can can metamorphize themselves into a butterfly and be free and happy and giving and they all can each person can find their own expression of love, joy and abundance and that's what I am wishing for very 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 deeply in my life I'm wishing for this I want to grab the stars I do activism but I want to grab the stars too I, I want to work on all levels political, artistic, creative, poetic, in writing, and, and in, in grabbing the stars of, of transforming planet Earth into that what it should be, you know, a place of joy and peace and loving and giving and pouring pink acrylic paint onto the canvas. I know that feeling so well. I felt it already when I was very little. I felt it already at age two. Just like you did. And you started even earlier with this. And I've always watched my dad. My dad is an architect and he draws. and. Uh, the whole house was filled with modern art. Always was. From the day I was born. Lots and lots and lots of sculptures. And some of them were scary. But they didn't scare me. Because I felt a connection to them. An energy connection. You know, I felt like that was an expression of, of who they were. You know, an honest expression. 
when we children encounter adults that are honest about their expression, as soon as they are honest about it, we're no longer afraid because then we know that they mean well. We know that they are truthful to themselves. When people are truthful to, to themselves, then other people can trust them. This is how it works. The, the being truthful always starts with being truthful to ourselves. And if people could just understand that and, and make that leap, take that step, there are so many hurting people in the world. If they could take that step, if I can just reach a handful of people with my videos that I always make, that will already be worthwhile putting me out there, embarrassing sometimes, you know, I feel, I feel very awkward, uh, but my inner urge to do this is very strong, because I see, I see that all, I see everything, and I see causalities, and I see what will help us. And I have this strong need to help, and I want to give, and yet I'm afraid, and I'm highly sensitive, and I'm so afraid, I'm afraid of being hurt. So I make my videos, and I try to reach people, and I try to connect, and I try to make sense, and try to give people the idea that they can free themselves, you know, that they can love themselves just th the way they are. And so when I meet somebody who is like me, who's an artist, who is much more advanced than I am, like you are, and um, then I feel like we can do this together, you know, we can somehow make this happen. We can help people. You can help people where you are and I can help people where I am. Maybe we can help people together on the internet and maybe we can meet someday and make a gigantic painting together. That would be so amazing. And maybe we can invite other artists to work on a gigantic mural together. And maybe we can invite other children and, and many different people to all, everyone gets a, a square of five by five you know, feet on a large wall and everyone can put their story on it and their feelings and all of their emotions and whatever is going through their minds, you know, express it in shape and color and without being held back by what other people could think of them, you know, without judgment, just really help people to express themselves in a free flow. That would be fantastic, wouldn't it? And then things can slowly heal. And then if everybody started a project like this, every everywhere on planet Earth, then people can start healing. And there's already some people who did it. Judy Baca has been doing this in L.A. But I want to take it a step further. I want people to express their own feelings and not paint someone else's painting, but make their own, you know, express, and it doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter if it's not um, a concrete shape of something. It doesn't matter. It could be anything. It could be just an expression of color, you know, and it, it is just gorgeous to do this, you know, to let the color flow onto the material. It's so beautiful. And when I watch your videos, it makes me feel good. I feel connected and my pain is not there in that moment. 
and that is absolutely miraculous because I have pain 24 hours a day all the time from the moment I was born <coughs> to now all the time suffering and only when I get foot massages I feel relaxed in that moment or in very 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 rare occasions very rare occasions and sometimes for split seconds I felt good you know. but then the worry my worry comes back but when I watch your videos the time I watch your videos maybe 10 minute long videos and that moment in these 10 minutes I feel no pain and that is a miracle for me because it is amazing how your energy makes me not have pain and in have joy instead and calmness and making this video is good feels good too to be feeling connected to you I always in the back of my head I always feel like other people will see it too and they're gonna judge me they're gonna say something mean but I make this video anyway because I want to pour my love out there to the world, my pink love. I always call it the pink bubble gum. And it's amazing for me to see so many things that are corresponding with my own life when I see you, you paint, you know. I see myself in it when I was your age. I had the same need for pink and for this pink mixing of colors. I told everybody that pink is the most important color there is. That's what I told everybody. And they believed me. <laughs> and then my mother, she thought that I was becoming dominant. And Annalise asked her, why would that be a problem for you? She didn't want me to be dominant. And I wasn't dominant. I was just being myself. And if I can inspire other people, that shouldn't be seen as being dominant. That should just be seen as being an inspiration, being an uh, inspirer an inspirer of metabolism and that's beautiful you know. so never ever listen to someone who's judgmental never 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 okay. only listen to to pink to flowers to great danes horses unicorns oracles of space beauty that's such a beautiful title oracle of space and it's it is the portal to infinity you know and that's what we need to listen to and nothing else nobody's judgment no one no one who's miserable has anything to say to us but you have a lot to say to them. They need to listen to you. And that's the first obstacle for them to let go of that guard, of that ego, and to say, she knows better. She has, she's happy. I need to listen to her. We need to listen to those who are happy, who are flowing. That's very, very, very important and you are a shaman and you can help people what you make is absolutely stunningly beautiful and it is an inspiration and it's healing for people for all these people who are hurting 
and it's going to help planet Earth. Take care, baby. Be safe forever. I love you very much.